What's up, Brew Crew? Opie here. Welcome back to my Brew City Garden. So early this spring, I was wondering, can you grow sweet potatoes in Wisconsin? So that's the question. Can you grow sweet potatoes in Wisconsin? Well, I know I can grow sweet potato vines, but can I grow a successful sweet potato crop of nice tubers or something worth harvesting? Uh, and that's a great question. I don't know. I've never tried it. This is absolutely the first time I'm growing sweet potatoes. So we're going to find out together this year. Now, if you remember, I planted the okra, which is normally a southern grown crop. Um, and I'm fairly confident that those are going to do well and I'll get a fairly nice harvest of okra this year. But sweet potatoes? Sweet potatoes are a little bit different animal. Uh, are they going to take to the Wisconsin climate, the Milwaukee climate, enough to give me a nice harvest of tubers? You know, that remains to be seen. But you know what? We're going to find out this year for sure. So I started back in March with this one particular potato tuber and I just put some toothpicks in it stuck it in this jar of um, water which is now uh, full of algae but that's okay it doesn't seem to hurt anything and I just started plucking these sweet potato slips off and then once I get them plucked off of here I stick them right here in this old cottage cheese container full of water to root them so when you pull them off, they look like this. They've got no roots. You know, you would think that they would just die, but they don't. You stick them in the water. And next thing you know, you get those nice little roots. These things are super, super easy to root. Making sweet potato slips, honestly, could not be much easier than this. No nutrients, no anything. Just pluck them off the sweet potato, stick them in some water, and boom, off they go. So as far as that's concerned, they're really easy to propagate. So after oh, a few weeks, I decided to throw some, pot some up in soil. And so now this is what we've got. And as you can see, some of these are really vining out quite a bit. Uh, the oldest uh, slips that I've um, taken off the potato. So, you know, as far as growing them indoors, so far so good. How are they gonna take to my weather? I don't know. You know, just two nights ago, um, we had a really harsh cold snap come through. We almost made it into the 40s again. We were definitely in the low 50s. And these particular sweet potatoes here uh, were actually outside for that. And I figured, well, if they're not going to make it, then, you know, oh well. But they're still alive, but you can see where the leaves are purpled quite a bit. And I'm certain that's due to the cold. Uh, that's a fairly common symptom. Uh, when plants get cold, they tend to purple up a little bit. So I'm sure that's what's going on here. But they're still alive, um, a little bit stressed it looks. But you know what? We're gonna plant them up today. We're gonna see how these do this year. Now I figured if we want sweet potatoes this year, I really need to get these things planted up. So I took a 55 gallon drum and I cut it in half. I punched holes in the bottom and I just filled them with the same um, compost soil mix that I use for the tomato buckets and all my other uh, container uh, type soil uh, mixes. So I'm going to go ahead and plant up um, these slips that I have potted up and these are well rooted into these pots. I've got five of those. And then I've got some uh, bare root slips that are anywhere from four to two weeks old in here. So we'll plant up a couple of those and see how those do. And just for kicks and giggles, I might just go ahead and plant up uh, this particular slip that literally just came off the sweet potato uh, and see how that, see how it takes. More of just an experiment. Um, and I may end up pulling it either way because uh, these are probably gonna get a little overcrowded over here. Now I did pick the sunniest spot in the garden. So this should get uh, pretty much full sun almost all day uh, with just a little bit of shade from one of these pine trees behind me. But uh, that's really, it's going to be so insignificant. Shouldn't make any difference at all. So I'm going to go ahead and 
get this thing out of the way. And what I'm thinking is approximately four slips uh, per container. And hopefully that will be okay. So there's two here, there's three there, and then I can put in uh, some of my bare root slips. So what are we gonna use here? I want the nicest ones with the most roots. That's got a lot of nice roots on it, so we'll put that in there. That's got some nice roots on it. And that one looks pretty good too. That one's got the least, the least amount of roots on it, so we'll just leave it. All right, so what I wanna do is just plant these um, pretty much right at soil level where they're at in the pot now. And we're gonna find out how these do. I'm anxious to see what the root bowls look like on these because I did transplant them a while ago. Oh yeah, that's nice. Actually looks pretty good. Maybe slightly root bound. I'll just tease that a little bit. Nothing crazy. I don't want to make it mad. Although if the cold weather here in Wisconsin hasn't peeved it off uh, enough. All right. So we'll just set that in there. And honestly, I think you could probably bury these deep too um, and they would take root. That's just my guess because they do root very easily. And it's my understanding that depending on variety, these will root um, along the vine too. So whenever they touch the soil, uh, they can set down roots. So I do need to be careful. I need to train these uh, just a little bit. I'd like to keep them out of the straw bale garden as much as possible. And I want them to vine out uh, to where I'm at now and behind me, uh, even under the pine tree behind me. Now, another thing I'm kind of worried about is the rabbits. Now, it's my understanding that uh, sweet potato leaves are, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. I got a little tiny sweet potato growing in there already. Oh, that's cool. Well, if nothing else, I can grow sweet potatoes indoors then. All right, I'm good with that. <clears throat> uh, but as I was saying, uh, the, the, especially the young leaves are quite edible. And I'm just wondering if the rabbits are going to leave them alone. I would hate to come out here tomorrow morning and see that my plants have been chewed down to nubs, uh, which is always a possibility. So these rabbits out here are ruthless little bastards. But anyway. They're lucky they're cute. That's all I can say. So that one, that one's not nearly as root bound. But you can actually see where I had buried a leaf in that one. That's kind of weird. And it still looks just like a leaf. So it hasn't, hasn't decayed at all. Really an interesting plant, sweet potatoes. And just as a note, uh, sweet potatoes are actually, they're not actually a potato at all. Oops. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw this bare root right here in the center. Um, I hope four slips per container is not too much. Perhaps it's not enough. Um, let me know in the comments if you've got experience with sweet potatoes, especially growing them in containers. Um, you know, let me know the size of the containers you're using, how many slips you're putting in per container. I would be really interested in um, knowing what your experiences are um, with growing sweet potatoes, especially in containers. All right, so we got that one planted out. Let's go ahead and plant this one as well. Get her done. Come on, get out of there. This one's being a little bit stubborn. Ah, and I see why, because it's also growing tubers already. That's interesting. I wonder if um, transplanting in, at this point is going to cause any issues. I certainly hope not, but again, it's just a, just an experiment this year. If it doesn't work out, uh, if these vines die back, I can always find something else to put in these big planters. 
So no, uh, no worries there. Pull this one out. And again, quite a bit of variation. This one is, you know, hardly has any root development within the pot. Now it probably has a lot to do with when I actually transplanted them. All right, we got that one in. So let's get these bare roots in. Right there, I'm just gonna bury the leaves and everything. I don't think it, it doesn't seem to make any difference. And I'll put this one here, kind of favoring this side of the, of the uh, container. Cause again, I want these to vine out this way. And uh, hopefully they can just fill in this whole patch and uh, it doesn't get too overgrown uh, with grass because once these come in, I will no longer be able to mow through here. So I don't know, we'll see how it turns out. You know, I do the same thing in between the straw bills. Um, I let my vines go crazy, my watermelons and squash, and uh, it gets to the point to where I can't get in there and mow. So it does get a little bit overgrown, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. It's nothing terrible. All right, so we got these, uh, we got these things planted out finally. Hopefully we will uh, end up with a warmer weather from this point on. No more 50 degrees, um, no more 40 degrees, since it is the middle of June. Uh, I feel somewhat confident now that we're safe as far as that's concerned. Hey guys, thanks for joining me again today for the great sweet potato experiment here in the Bruce City Garden. Hey, I appreciate you coming and hanging out with me today. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's a great day to plant ah, sweet potatoes. Why not? Uh, you know what? Make sure you stick around to see how these things do. I'm just as curious as you are. I have no idea how these things are going to perform for me this summer. But uh, you know what? It's always fun to experiment. I love putting new uh, exotic things in the garden just to see how well they do. And sometimes you're just really pleasantly surprised. So um, hopefully it's going to be the same for my sweet potatoes this year. Hey, if you got any tips or tricks for growing sweet potatoes, let me know in the uh, in the comments below for sure. I could use all the help I can get. Uh, like I said, this is my very first time. But fingers crossed, uh, you know what? I think we'll do okay. Even if uh, we don't get the greatest harvest, I'm sure we're gonna end up with something considering we're already developing little tubers uh, in, the, in the pots that I had them in. So, uh, you know, so far it's looking pretty good. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I want you to have an amazing day. And until next time, we'll see you.